Hey everybody, this is Ed. Today we're going to talk about winter bass fishing. Let's get going. If you're new to the channel, please take this opportunity to subscribe, leave me a comment, tell me what you think about my winter bass fishing techniques. Let's get started. As you can see, I have a bunch of stuff out. I'm, I'm on my way to go fishing, and this is basically how I fish in the winter time. Uh, I live in the desert, high elevation, so it's cold. It's cold already, you know, it's 40 degrees in the morning. So fishing lakes in higher elevation, of course, is like fishing winter time where I live. So let's get started. I'm just gonna grab things in random and, and see what you got. One of the first things I do, is I always fish a drop shot. Uh, again, I, I like fishing creatures, so you know, drop shot with a creature. Uh, most of these techniques that or baits that I've used that I'm going to use, and I've done a bait review on, I'll have that uh, review link in the description. So if you want to get a little more in depth on the particular baits I use, just follow the descriptions on the bottom. But the, one of the things I use is a drop shot. All right. Drop shot's actually not my favorite thing, but it's just one of the things I use. The other thing I use is a worm. This happens to be a zoom speed worm. Uh, worms always work. I, I just like fishing worms, to be honest with you. So, but I, I throw a worm. Depends on the, the circumstance. You know, if I'm at the Delta, I'm not as um, reluctant to throw this worm because I like to throw it and bounce it on the rip wrap and drag it off or throw it in the grass and just let it sit there. Uh, the one thing you got to remember is in the winter time things kind of move slow. Uh, fishing on the Delta, the, the beauty of that is, is those fish live in the current so they have to eat. Same thing when you fish Havasu or any other river lakes. Uh, one of my favorite baits I always fish is the grub. This happens to be the six inch version right here. Uh, this one is is more. I fish this real similar to a swim bait, crank bait. Um, it's driving me crazy because I have it on here crooked, but <laughs> it's um, this is a primary bait for me because again I can throw it into the brush. I can throw it over the rip wrap. I can throw it in the cover because it's weedless and it's you know it's the Texas rig deal. And the thing is, is that you can crank it real slow and barely get that tail to move and you don't have to really be in a rush. Or you can just cast it out and let it fall to the bottom. And that really works well in the winter time. All right. The one thing about wintertime fishing is jigs are almost at their best. This is the best bait for wintertime fishing that I've seen. To be honest with you, you know, uh, if you talk to any pros, you watch any shows on this, they're going to all recommend you throw a, a jig in the wintertime. Uh, the trailer I have on here might be a little bit too much, but, you know, you want to throw something like this. A lot of times I use a pork trailer, but this right here is one of those finesse jigs. And, and that's what I really like throwing in the wintertime is a finesse jig. All right. This is a bait that I'm starting to uh, become more comfortable throwing uh, big swim bait big paddle tail this is a weedless version again because I, I fish so much you know around rip wrap around grass and I throw in the cover I want to throw this you know hood re, you know this is either a rego or a hood I'm not really sure but it's a weedless version it uh, you throw it out there and you just let it hit the bottom and you, you know for me I like to slow crank it and drag it off the bottom uh, as you will notice for me, uh, I like baits that move even in the winter time. I don't like to just stand there and fish. That's why the drop shots, I fish the drop shot, but it's not necessarily my go-to bait because it's a little bit too slow for me. Um, another swim bait, uh, it's either going to be like this hardtail, speed shad, you know, uh, big kitex, something like that. These are, to me, really effective, especially feeding them, fishing them on a swim bait hook. They're weedless. You're casting them out. You're, you're fishing them at whatever depth you try to find. And, and the reality is that, you know, these big baits work real well because, you know, the fish don't want to spend a lot of energy chasing something, but if they do, they want to get a good bite out of it. All right. Get some of this stuff out the way. All right. What's next? What's next? All right, 
Next is a, a wacky worm. Uh, get into my finesse stuff. Uh, it's either going to be uh, any type of worm. Mainly though, I'll throw a flick shake worm on this because I, I just like the way flick shake worms shake. They, they fall real well, but these robo worms work real well. Trick worms work well. Uh, pretty much all the straight tail worms work exceptionally well. Remember that the you know things are called fish die. They slow fall down, and this imitates those fish. Again, this is a, another wacky worm. So for this time, I use a Cinco or a, a Zoom Magnum finesse worm of some type, either the finesse one or the regular one. I like the big beefy worms, especially when I'm fishing over riprap, uh, fishing next to cover where I can throw it out there or in front of the tulies, and you just let it fall there and slow fall down. And it's not as slow as you think because I'm just letting it fall to the bottom, letting it hit the bottom, counting in my head five seconds, check in if there's no no bite I'm pitching it to another spot if I do that for a while without any success I'll pitch it out let it sit for maybe 10 15 20 seconds to see if the fish is just being slow swimming over to it and if that doesn't work of course you know I got a bunch of rods out I keep going from one thing to another one thing for me on winter fishing and any type of fishing is I want to catch the fish the way I want to catch the fish and sometimes <laughs> that doesn't always work out uh, one of the most surprisingly effective ways to catch fish in the winter time is with the Ned Rig. Um, I've never really talked much about the Ned Rig, but I've been doing this type of rig for a lot of years. I read about it in, in Fisherman probably seven or eight years ago, and I've been kind of sneaking doing it since then, especially like at Lake Mead or you know the Diamond Valley, the lakes where you can, you know, where a little bite's a little tougher in the winter time. But I've caught so many fish, just throwing it out there, letting it fall. But you got to make sure you you pull this tail so it helps it float. So when it, it lands, it sticks up like that. And even when I throw it in the grass on the delta, it sits up, and I still get bit even though I'm using the open hook. Doesn't hang up very often if I do it right. All right. These two are similar to the same. This is a uh, uh, Kitek uh, swing impact. This is not the fat one, but this is slim. This kind of starts off that process where I like to fish a lot of the, the small uh, finesse swim baits. I fish these things so similar to the way I fish this particular bait here, which is a grub. Uh, this is probably my favorite bait to fish in the winter time, but I fish these, these the same way. You cast it out, I let it fall to the bottom, and then I'll slowly swim back. But a lot of times what you find out is when you throw them, you let them hit the bottom. You can take and uh, let them sit there for a while if they don't get bit. And the one thing about the winter is you let it wait. And you think you let it wait long enough, you got to wait a lot longer. <laughs> because everything's slow motion. Everything's slow. You got to take your time. Uh, one of my, the issues I love to do is I'll throw this over rip wrap. And then as it hit the rip wrap, I'll move it a little bit more. I'll move it a little bit more until it falls into the grass or falls off the edge. And then I'll let it sit there. And then when I get think, okay, if you let it sit there long enough, I'll let it sit a little bit longer because I know I did. Um, I, I like to move things, so it's kind of one of those deals I have to be patient. But this is one of those deals you cast it out, you check it. If there's weight, you know you got a fish on, you reel into him, you don't have to swing at him and you'll get them a lot of times good corner of the mouth a lot of times they'll eat it on the way down and you'll feel the tug you watch your line jump but this has been my most successful way um, it's one of my favorite ways to fish even though it's not winter time i fish this bait so much it's probably embarrassing you know but those are some of the other ways let me cover a few more while i'm here this is a Super Fluke, the Magnum. The uh, now I'm embarrassing myself. Can't get it open. Now, the, the the main deal with these is that it's such a big bait that and it's got a good little weight to it that when you throw it out there and you jerk a jerk, when it falls, it's big enough bait to allow the fish to go and get it, and that's the whole key because 
this makes for a good meal it's a good size bait the fish don't have a problem going to eat it they can feel it they know they can eat this thing that's one of the reasons why when I fish a fluke in the winter time it's always going to be this big magnum fluke a um, couple other ways you know is with the lipless crankbait and the way I like to do this is I either reel it in or I'll take, you know, depends on which style, you know, shad pattern or crop pattern. Let it fall to the bottom and then I'll hop it up, let it fall back down, hop it up, let it fall back down. Normally I'm doing that with a three quarter ounce uh, so I can get it to the bottom and then yank it up, let it fall. And then a lot of times you rip it up and when you rip it up, the fish will grab it up. Um, or you swim it through the, the grass, you know, just above the grass and as it tick the grass, you snatch it and rip it up. But these are real effective in the winter time. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, please let me know what you think. Um, if I missed something, you know, I, I basically told you how I fish the winter time. Those are my winter time tips. I fish more in the winter time than I do any time, and I've been fishing a long time. Thanks again, and I will see you later. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,